Hey guys, it's Dr. Faith, and I'm so excited to be talking with you guys today on a, about a topic that I really, really am um, passionate about, and that is how do you merge your mission? So between husband and wife, how do you merge the uh, vision and the plan that you had for your individual lives, and how do you make it one, as well as how do you go forward as an individual, even within the marriage. We focus a lot on oneness, which is key in marriage, but there's also specific things that God has called each individual to accomplish. And it's really, really important to be able to accomplish those things as well, because we'll be held accountable when we stand before God as individuals. Uh, unfortunately, there's no marriage in heaven um, because we're married to the Lamb. So that's the, that's the fortunate thing. We're married to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So there is marriage and there is a banqueting table and joy but um we're going to be held accountable for our individual things so what i see a lot of times is uh, especially for women this is an issue i see with women you get married and with the busyness of marriage i'm married so i know exactly uh what happens with the uh, busyness of children and then even of um just trying to make a living or, you know, grow in, in who you are as an individual, your uh, identity begins to kind of get blurred and you're now known as the wife of or the mother of and who God designed you to be is kind of uh, fading into the background. But um, it's really, really important to find a way to not forget who God called you to be. And a lot of times, you know, for us, especially when we do counseling at Ask Dr. Faith, is we, we, we're we looking at the compatibility. We're looking at how does one spouse's mission and vision line up with the other spouse's mission and vision. So there's oftentimes where both click really well and both of you guys are just doing, um, you're working together like a puzzle piece. So both of you may have a passion for ministry um, while one may be called to the nations, the other one may be called to the city nearby, but you guys are able to manage that and work through it. And then there are times when someone is called to the government and someone is called to the entertainment industry, but both of you have a really huge passion for evangelism. That's where the puzzle meets. So you have to figure out how to meet that together. What I've seen with a lot of women is that you... Um, tend to just kind of take on the vision of the man and kind of uh, focus on being mom and being wife, which is great, but there's still something that God has put in you. So how do you maintain that? And I think it's realistically and consistently reminding of yourself of what God has spoken over your life and of your passions and working with your spouse and saying, this is really what I want to do. It's still there. Um, how do we go about doing it? So working as a team, looking at the things that both of you guys merge together in, what you do well, and then the other things that are opposites really, really encourage each other. So my husband, obviously, is a scientist, is a physicist. But he has a passion for government, he has a passion for business, and he has a passion for Jesus. In the areas of science, I just support and encourage him. Um, and what we're building and where we're going in terms of missions and raising up schools in, in Africa and working with young leaders, that's where we're going to merge together. And of course, in our home, um, him taking the lead in terms of worship and leading us. Um, and just us, both he and I, just that passionately serving and loving Jesus together in the context of our family. So you want to find a place where you guys meet and then you want to support each other in the other areas. It's also really important um, to have things clearly written out even prior to being married so that both of you guys can clearly discuss, you know, this is where I feel like I'm going, this is where I feel like I'm going, and, and you can see where things come together. Being compatible doesn't mean you have to be the same. There are things that God has put in you to complement each other, and that's what um, you work with. You work, work with the areas that complement each other and build together in those areas, and the other areas areas you just encourage each other as long as they're good and as they're uplifting but women it's really really important not to forget that I have so many friends that are preachers and amazing women of God and have taken being a wife and a mom on more than anything else being wife and a mom is one of the most important things 
that you will ever do. And I am a family person. I really, really believe that. But I also know that outside of being wife and a mom, there's a destiny um, to the nations or to your city or to your church or around you that God is calling you out or even to the business arena. And so the next thing is really just discerning seasons. There are seasons. There are things in the season that I'm in now. Uh, we have our first son and, and we're going to have more children in the future. That There are things that I can do in this season that I... I was not able to do when I was single, but there are also things that I cannot do in this season that I could do when I was single. So it's learning how to discern the seasons, which will allow you not to get frustrated and asking the Holy Spirit to say in this season, how do I fully manifest my mission? How do I fully manifest the assignment and the purpose that you have given me um, to walk out? It's really, really important to not let those things get hidden and buried. I know it can be hard work. Um, for me, sometimes it's staying up at, at 2 a.m. It's making these video blogs when my baby's taking a nap. You know, it's finding those moments to really allow yourself to be who you were called to be outside of these other names, which are great, that um, come upon you as you grow and mature um, in uh, being someone who walks with the Lord. So I just really want to encourage you guys this weekend. We're having a conference called Pioneer Girls in Mount Laurel, New Jersey um, at the Hyatt Place. You can get the information on our ministry website, which is warringministries.org. I don't talk about the ministry a lot here because that's um, a different blog, but I really would encourage you women to come out. This conference is about what does it look like to be a pioneering woman, a woman who is a mom, who is a wife, who is a leader, who is a business person, who is in uh, Hollywood, and who is in an educator. How do you merge those two? How do you walk it out? And how do you effectively complete the mission that's on your life? So and check the information out on warringministries.org. It's not too late. You can check the, the blog out on this topic at the end of the week. It will be on AskDrFaith.com. Next Tuesday, we start our marriage preparation boot camp. Married people, engaged people, couples, you have to take this. It will change your life. All right, that's enough for today. A video is still coming up with my husband and I. Our schedules are nuts, but we're still going to um, take that time out to do that soon. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.